Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is another plan with me. This is actually two plan with me's. The first one is for the week beginning the 27th of September and then the next one is the 4th of October. I ended up putting them together because I keep filming these when I get chance around uh, looking after baby boy and work um, and then just forgetting to actually like do the audio, edit them and upload them because it's very time consuming. You wouldn't believe me because it's so badly edited um, but it is actually very time consuming. Anyway, so this is the 27th of September in my classic happy planner. It's undated, um, so it's not very seasonal. The, the colourful stripes down the centre are the same all the way through, which is a bit too bright and in your face for me. Uh, but I just try to dress it up with some seasonal stickers. So these stickers are from the um, Fun Florals and Mambi sticker book, and I decided to do a sort of diagonal line across the page, across the double page, using these flowers because they have kind of autumnally colours in them so I thought that was quite nice, kind of late summer um, and autumn. I don't really know what flowers are seasonal <laughs> and I don't really know what flowers these all are in the sticker book so sometimes I don't really know which ones seem appropriate and I just associate flowers with spring and summer anyway so I'm just going with the colours as opposed to the actual flowers themselves. I didn't quite get this stripe very straight when I was doing it and there are some sort of it is a bit gappy in, in places. Um, I think I was struggling a little bit with the flowers, a lot of them being quite big in the book, the ones that I had left and I could have done with a few more smaller ones, might have made it, uh, might have made it easier to fit them around each other. Um, but I just didn't plan it very well and so where it starts on the second page is probably a little bit too high. Um, and it should be just a little bit lower and then it would have kind of made a bit more sense but it still looks pretty cute um, I think. So this week um, there wasn't a lot going on because now I am back at work um, I'm just at work so I have Mondays off but then I look after um, the baby who is not really a baby anymore he's getting on to toddler toddler dum dum whatever that is um, but that's Monday, but I don't really get a whole lot of chance to get jobs done. But then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I'm now at work all day. Um, and then the weekend, we're kind of trying to do fun things, but we kind of never really get our acts together to actually do it. Um, so it did seem like I have a lot of space to be able to put stickers. Um, and I don't need to worry too much about leaving space to subsequently go back in and write lots of to-dos because it's sort of been hilarious when I've been trying to do planning um, in the year that I had off for my maternity leave um, because I would, you know, make lists and obviously <laughs> nothing ever got done. Then I would just spend like weeks where I didn't even look at my planner because I kind of forgot that it existed because everything was just a bit crazy. Um, so yeah, planning's been a bit all over the place, just like everything else, what with having a baby and also lockdown obviously everything's just been a bit uh, a bit all over the place so I'm trying to get back into it now but I have less free time because I am back at work although work is less tiring than looking after a child so you know swings and roundabouts and um, so I just put those stickers um, I'm not exactly sure what they would design to go around um, they just seem to fit nicely over at the top and the bottom of kind of the boxes. Um, I did the one on Sunday a bit wonky so I had to take it off and try again but that is the finished spread and I think it looks really like fun and late summer early autumn vibes. Um, so this is moving on to the 4th of October and I decided to go with my fall or autumn but it's called the fall sticker book which is another Mambi sticker book. Um, and I also had a couple marked out from the Colour Story 4 sticker book which just have seasonal stickers in it but in the end I don't think I ended up using them because I think they didn't quite go with um, the time of year so it, they, I think they were referencing that like more kind of Halloween-y, pumpkin-y vibes um, so I just used these ones from the Fall sticker book and these are the kind of more photographic pictures and then some square um, or rectangle boxes, full boxes stickers with um, text on them um, and th there is a lot of references to pumpkins I have to say. It's an American sticker book, it's an American company and with the holidays in inverted commas as it is commonly referred to in the US, I'm not sure if Halloween 
is is considered to be part of the holiday season um, but the holidays can sometimes be not quite right for um for the uk it's just like some of the terminology is just a little bit off anyway because i had this week off work um i had free time on the wednesday thursday friday when baby boy toddler boy was in um nursery so i had like a million jobs to get done so i did leave myself these like full boxes to be able to write stuff down in uh i'm not sure that i actually did that in the end but that was the plan had um baby boy to look after on the monday and tuesday but we did actually go on a little day trip with my mum on the tuesday so i kind of noted that down that that was the plan and on the monday um we did soft play so we went to the soft play center and i just popped that in it was a bit weird with putting the kind of washi tape down first meant that when i was putting the full box stickers down they didn't quite fit anymore so i wasn't quite sure whether i should put the sticker on top of the washi tape or whether i should have put the washi tape down afterwards and put the sticker down first um but instead i just did it kind of like this where the full box is like a little bit lower than it should have been which is fine um i try to um not put too many of the photographic ones next to each other and kind of mix it up with some of the other ones with like the text on them just to keep it a bit mixed up but in the end i think the uh the leaves the photographs of leaves ended up being quite ne near to each other and that's just kind of how it ended up um being um once I'd put all the like full box stickers in, I did feel that it was quite kind of boxy in places and then there was like a lot of white space. So I did go back through the sticker books that I've got and try to find some smaller um, deco stickers just to kind of break up uh, the white space. I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm still putting down, <laughs> still putting down full box stickers. Be patient. Okay, now I'm flipping through the book and seeing if I can find any smaller stickers. There are some in here, but again, they are kind of Halloween-y or just not quite right. Um, so in the end, I did use some of the um, leaf ones from the sticker book. Just a couple of them just to, like I said, um, kind of break up some of the boxiness and the empty white space. It doesn't go totally well with the like photographic with like the vibe of these stickers because it's just a very different design um but they have leaves on them so <laughs> that's kind of what i was thinking i also looked through my happy year um sticker book but a lot of those ones are um halloweeny oh no i got the stickers from the happy year book rather than the fall book I filmed this ages ago, I have no idea, I've forgotten everything, I, just, I don't even know why I'm pretending that I know what's going on in what, in what I did, I don't know, anyway, um, that is like the finished spread for um, the week of the 4th to the 10th of October, um, it's okay, it's not, not really very balanced I think, it's very boxy and there's a lot of like white space but I just needed some space to write my list in. Anyway give me a like if you've liked it and subscribe for more.